the boss man show here at Coach Chris Crutchfield coming home to Omaha to coach the Mavericks out of the Summit League. Coach Crutchfield, how you doing, man? How's it feel to be back home, man? I tell you what, it's a great feeling to be back. I got a bunch of friends that are still here in Omaha. And, of course, my wife is from Omaha, so her family still here. So we about ready to have a big family reunion here. I hear that, man. Uh, let me tell you, how did it make you feel, man, and know that they tagged you to come back and lead this program after all these years, been a, a being alma mater. So tell me about that, how did it make you feel? And they say, hey, Coach, Coach Crutchfield, we want you to be the man here. Well, I'll tell you what, it's overwhelming just because of all the opportunities that I've had in the past that, that I think that has prepared me for this opportunity. So when I look back and say, okay, the jobs that I interviewed for over the years and I didn't get, you know, I'm blessed that, that God made this happen for me at this particular time in my career. And uh, it's a, it, I, it's humbling and it's an honor to be back at your alma mater to get an opportunity to coach at a place that, that kind of molded and shaped you to be who you are today. No doubt. I'm asking his coach, you know, my father is a coach, and so I chose radio. Mm -hmm. I didn't choose his path. But <laughs> smart man, you're a smart man. <laughs> now, now, what about coaching? Would you want to get? Made you want to get into it? What was your inspiration to want to get into this business? Well, I had some good coaches coming up, even in high school and in college. I had some some mentors, some people that that really helped shape me who I am today. So. I want to help kids. I really, really, that's the first thing I wanted to do is try to help kids. And uh, this was the best way to do it. I uh, got my degree in criminal justice and I started off doing a little juvenile probation. And uh, of course, that wasn't the way I wanted to help kids because I couldn't help them that way. So I, I had an opportunity to be a graduate assistant and I took the opportunity. And here we are 29 years later uh i've been coaching ever since i hear that you know it's funny i see guys who still text my dad and talk to my dad about things that happened years ago but he's still like in their lives this day it was, i see so you know i'm his, own, his only biological child we got so many different children who he still <laughs> has all the time man <laughs> no doubt about it that's what it's all about to be honest with you we we build these relationships and these bonds with these kids and you you bring them into your family and it's a lifelong bond, it's a lifelong relationship that you want them to, to go on and be productive citizens. You want to be invited to their weddings. You want them to, to, to send you pictures of their firstborn. You know, and that's the relationship that is all about. We, we're in the business of changing lives, I think. And the way we do that, we teach our young man how to be better at everything that they're doing. And when they're around my family, they get to learn how to be a dad and a husband. You know, not to mention they're, they're trying to be the best person, the best student, the best athlete. But we're molding them for something really, really bigger in life. And hopefully that chain continues to go down the road. And at, at some point in their life, they, they have to help somebody, too. No doubt. Like I can speak to, like, Johnny Cole and Randy Peel, people like that who – I still have in my life, Frank Martin, who I still talk to this day, you know, guys like yeah. that who's helped me and give me advice about life. So I, I'm lucky to have guys like that who I can talk to with a text, hey, coach, can you run, run, run it by you real quick, coach? They, they, they respond and call and have real company, have their own teams busy, but still call, talk to me, still want to make sure I'm on the right path. That's important, man. We And we all need that. Sometimes my ego is getting away and think that we don't need that that conversation or that that uplifting or someone to give us hope. And we all need it. We all need it. And I think our jobs as coaches and, you know, as being a son of a coach, those words, man, go a long way to just get you through that moment that you're going through or that day. And you need those positive words. No doubt, Coach Coach Field. Also, man, for you, when you recruit a young man to Omaha, you lived it. Like, you, you know what that life is. So you're the best salesman that it can be for Omaha basketball because you were an Omaha Maverick. You know what it is to be in the best of Omaha. So talk about that as you build this program, having young men know that you really have still been in their shoes that they're going to have to walk yeah. into. And, and that was part of the interviewing process. And, and I told our AD and our, the people on our staff that was going through this process with me that – you're not going to find a better candidate that, that, that want to be in Omaha. Second, I've walked this campus as a student, athlete, and as a coach. 
So who's better to sell this campus, to sell this university, to sell this city, to sell this athletic program than a person like myself? So I had a lot of positive things going, but but it's a relaxing feeling knowing that when I bring a young person to this campus, I can tell them my story. I can tell them why I came, what drew me to this campus. And secondly, how this place molded and shaped me to be who I am today. So now all I want them to do is have a great experience. I want you to have the experience that I had at Nebraska Omaha. And when you leave our campus with that degree in your hand, you're going to have a piece of paper that, that certify you to go anywhere in the country and, and be a, a great employee and be a great ambassador uh, for your family and for this university. And coach, we know recruiting has changed crazily with this portal. Um, so you're going to attack it with high school young men as well, JUCO guys, and the portal fine fits. I know as you come as a, a new coach, you have to try to retain what you have, and you have your eye want to build one, one, one to build your roster as well from what you see, what you already have. So how are you going to attack using all these different avenues to, to grow your roster and, and use your program the right way? Well, I'm going to do it all, man. I, I think we're not at a, in, a, in a place where we have to, you know, pigeonhole ourselves and go after a certain type of kid. We're a legitimate mid-major program in, in a city of 1.2 million people. And I think, I think you can recruit nationally, and we're going to try to do that. But I think I'm not going to pigeonhole myself and say we're going after Porter kids or junior college kids or high school kids. I think we have to find the right person and the right fit for what we're trying to do here. And it might be a kid that comes from Division Two. It might be a kid that comes from NAIA uh, or the Porter or high major. So we're going to look under every rock, boss, man, and make sure yes. we don't leave a stone unturned to get the best student athlete. And I mean it in every sense of the word, the best student athlete that we can get here in, in Omaha. No doubt. Omaha is a very uh... – very special place to home of Malcolm X, where he was born at. So, <laughs> so yes, you did go. your research, man. You did yeah. your research. Yes, African <laughs> studies class. Hey, but I have not been to C State. African <laughs> studies class. <laughs> Omaha, Malvin, Malcolm X. I have not forgot that in all these years. <laughs> That's good. Hey, you in a great That's town, you said. Great town. Uh, in the Midwest, can go east, west, up and down where you're located. So I feel like you have a wide net to cast to find the right young man to be an Omaha Mav going forward. No doubt. And, you know, just my contacts over the years of, of, of connecting with people and building relationships with people all across the country, you know, from the West Coast, East Coast, to, to, the, to the Midwest, to the Southeast part of the country, you know, we're going to pick up that phone and call everybody we can. And we've been doing that to this point and have reached out a lot of people have reached out to us about kids. So right now we're 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 kind of cutting that list down and trying to figure out who fits and what we what our needs are. And uh, we're going after them hard, man. It's one thing that we're going to do is work really really hard to recruit. And how important is it to be in early because you can actually have workouts, get on the court with your guys, see what you have as you try to make calls and build your roster? Because I feel like when you're hired later, it's harder to do what you have. <laughs> you might have a diamond in the rough on the roster already that you might want to keep. And also building relationships, those bonds as they go to summer school and come back to work out. And that play development piece can start when you come back in June and July there. No doubt about it. And that's what we've been doing here the last couple of weeks. I've had probably four or five workouts with this with the team that's here. And trying to get them to understand me and trying to figure out understanding them and figure out how we go forward with this group and what our needs are. And that's the most important thing, I think, just assessing what the talent level is and try to figure out, okay, we have to plug that spot. We need to plug in a hole in that spot. So, and that's what we've been doing. And we have a couple of holes that we have to plug in. We definitely got to get more athletic. Uh, we have to get bigger uh, in our front line players. So that's our, uh, a priority for us right now is to get more athletic and, and get bigger. I got two more for you, coach. They're by Atlanta. So when you come to Atlanta, coach, what is your favorite thing to do here when you come to town to recruit or see players? Well, Atlanta offer you so many different things. First, I'm going to Trey Young House and to raid his closet <laughs> and, and, and get all the shoes all I can. Now that I'm in Adidas school, I'm going up right over there to get all the ice trays I can get. And uh, we'll probably go to dinner and hang out a little bit because that's my guy. Uh, but Atlanta offers so much, man. And I'm a real laid-back guy. 
Uh, I don't do a lot, but I'm going to try to find me a good meal uh, at a good soul food restaurant. I can guarantee you that. I got some for you, Coach. Let me to my next question for you. When you come to town, what's your favorite spot to eat at when you come to Atlanta? <laughs> uh, what's my spot right there, man? Is it uh, Mary, Mary, Mary Bond? What's, it, what's the soul food place right there, man? You talking um, about? I, I think you know what you're talking about. I do know what you're talking about. Yes, Mary's. I, do know uh, song I, can't, about. I can't think. I can't think of the name of it right now. But but I do, that, I do, that's the I, one I go to all the time. Good food, Coach. Good food. So, Coach, we come to Lake Point, the EYBL, any of the live events. Let we, I'm gonna give you a number off off the air here. Chad Swain's number. Okay. So, we get, so okay. We, hey, Coach, we'll go out. We'll go out and have some soul food, man. We'll catch up with you. Like I told you, I don't know about. I know about your hometown, Hop Town. We can talk about. <laughs> we can talk about Hop Town. We can talk about Hop Town. Talk about the dirt roads. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coach, it's been a blast, man. We hope to do it with more often, Coach. And I'll be cheering for you, man. And the man. I was on my Thank list, you. man. I'll be looking for you guys, supporting you guys in the summer league out there, coach. Thank you, brother. I appreciate being with you. And if I can do anything to help you, you let me know. I sure will, coach. Thank you so much, man. All right. Have a great day. All right.